Hi guys, welcome back to The Frugal Life with Mercedes. I am Mercedes. I'm just going to do a pretty quick video about something. Um, so I got a statement from my car insurance and I do paper billing and automatic and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I just thought that it was going to be like you know, like a advertisement, like, Hey, also combine your this and this and this. So I opened it and it said exactly like, hi, Mercedes, here's your statement for renewal. And it showed what I paid for the month of March. And then it showed, um, April through September, what I was going to pay. And it's going to be almost $40 more every month. And the, the thing said, like, this is a renewal, uh, no need to do anything. And on the back, it just said, like, how to make a claim and different things like that. No explanation why it was going up $40. So I opened that letter um, last night. And by the time I opened it and got home from work and everything, it was too late to call. So this morning I called and was like, hi, I was like, um, my, you know, it's gonna, my policy is going up $40 a month. And I said, I haven't made any claims. I don't have any, you know, I haven't had any accidents or anything. Um, I'm just curious why. And the lady put me, she's like, hold on, let me put you on hold. Let me check it out, blah, blah, blah. So I was on hold, you know, it was really, really quick. And, um, she said that the state of Virginia was, had now has higher rates. Now, granted, they didn't say whether that was going to be through all insurance companies or specifically my insurance company. Her exact words were the state of Virginia. Um, and she said that it's due to rising medical costs and car repairs. So when people are making claims, the insurance is having to pay more, you know, I guess if you get injured or you have to have your car repaired. Um, and I was like, oh, okay. okay. Um, and I said, so it's a state of Virginia thing. And I was trying to get it, you know, and I'm, you know, I'm not mad at her. And I was, you know, very friendly and all that. Um, and she's like, well, other states are doing it too. She said something about like Louisiana. She said specifically Virginia and Louisiana. Um, and I was like, oh, okay. And she's like, well, I see you already get the good driver, a good driver discount. And she's like, we can offer you, I think she called it easy care or easy something. And she's like, are you interested in that? And I was like, well, I don't know what that is. And she said that basically they send you a link um, for your phone and it's like an app and it tracks you while you drive and you get a discount for doing that. Um, it's just to ensure that you really are a safe driver. Because the thing is, is just because you don't have any tickets and just because you don't have any accidents doesn't mean you're necessarily a good driver. It just means that you haven't gotten in any accidents or you haven't gotten caught speeding. Cause I know I see people driving reckless all the time. Um, you know, and I'm sure you guys do too. Um, it could just mean you haven't gotten caught, <laughs> you know? So like I'm a good driver on paper, but you know, unless you're in the car with me, you don't know what I'm doing. Um, but <laughs> so I was laughing about that. Um, but then I was, and then I was like, well, how does the, you know, I said, do I have to sign into this? Like every time I drive? And she said, no, that once you start driving the, it, the, the app or the, you know, whatever it is automatically picks up on that you're driving. And she said, if you're driving with somebody else, there's a way for you to go in and say that you weren't driving. Because I guess what could happen is let's say you're in the car with somebody and they're speeding you don't want to be penalized for that. And then I was talking to a friend of mine about that and she was like, but that's open to fraud too, because you could go and speed on the highway and then be like, no, that was my boyfriend that was driving or, you know, whatever. And she was, you know, so anyway, when I was talking to the representative from my car insurance, she was like, is that something you're interested in? And I was like, I'd have to think about that. Um, you know, I understand that we're all being tracked 
you know, I make videos on YouTube and social media and Google and Alexa and Amazon. And, you know, I mean, I get it. That's just what's going on. But, um, you know, I, I have to think about that. You know, that's what I told her. I was like, I have to think about that. And she's like, no, I totally understand. And, you know, she's like, you know, it's, you know, I, my goal is to provide provide you excellent service and answer all your questions. Have I done that today? Can I do anything else for you? And I was like, nope, you've been fabulous. Thank you for all your time and help. I appreciate it. Um, so anyway, I just kind of wanted to come on here and, you know, it's just, I, I was, I asked a couple of friends who have different insurance policies, um, if theirs have gone up and they said not that they know of, um, so I'm kind of curious about that, but for it to jump $40, like literally overnight, um, cause it says that it's going to start in April, we're at the end of March. So that's not very much notice. And I didn't like that there was no explanation on the paper. Like it, it, like it said, hi, Mercedes, this is for your, you know, your insurance renewal. No need to do anything. But then it just had like. March with what I pay and then a bunch of months with the new payment and I was like they could have at least said due to rising costs due to inflation due to you know whatever you know I still would have called but it just like it just seemed a little odd um and I get it like I get why they do that you know and I and I get we have inflation and I get rising costs of everything but it's like forty dollars like come on like at least go up by 10 and then go up by another 10 you know what I mean but I know that at least like I I've heard of a lot of that in a lot of insurance companies gave breaks to people during the pandemic because people were driving less um so I kind of think it has something to do with that like we gave everybody a break blah 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 but I also did look up and apparently this is like a thing um, that most insurance companies haven't been keeping up with inflation. And so they kind of have to now. So I get it. And, you know, it's like, it's just one of those things. But I am going to kind of look around and, you know, like I said, she said the state of Virginia and she said the state of Louisiana. But she didn't specifically say like all insurance companies in Virginia and Louisiana are doing this. Um, or is it just the specific one? I mean, I'm... I get, like I said, I get inflation and I get the rising costs of things, but I'm curious if anybody else's insurance has gone up. Um, that's a pretty big jump, you know, considering. Um, and it's like, <laughs> but yeah, it's just, you know, trying to open the dialogue, um, see if your guys' has gone up. I'm curious. Um, yeah. So you know, we're gonna, we're gonna do what we always do. We're gonna persevere and we're gonna see if there is, um, a way around this. You know, I'm, I'm not sure that I'm gonna go with the discount thing, you know, and I told my mom about it and she's like, well, it's tempting. And I was like, yeah. And you know, one, it's the tracking. And again, guys, I know, I know we're already being tracked, but then it's like, kind of seems kind of like, I don't know how tedious it is. Um, you know, cause I do drive with other people quite frequently and, you know, so then it's like, do I have to go in every single time? And it's like, and then, you know, and not that the people I'm driving with are driving recklessly, but it's just like you, it's one of those things. I don't know how tedious it'll be until you're actually doing it. Cause you know, sometimes things seem pretty simple, but once you get into them, they're pretty tedious or maybe it seems tedious, but then once you're in it, it seems simple. So we will see. Um, but yeah, just figured I would share that little bit of information. Um, okay guys, thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing and until next time, bye.